98.7 WNNS Carpenters on Springfield's Christmas Station, home for the holidays. It's 8.12. Good morning with Chris and Deb. Sunny and 48 later today. And uh, it's a beautiful morning, 37 at WNNS. So Andrew's here. No. <laughs> did it again. He did Joe it is again. here from the Animal Protective League. <laughs> Hi, Joe. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Good, man. Tell us all about Miranda. What a great, great kitty. She is very sweet. She actually came to the shelter with... Uh, Two of her babies, and they've been adopted, so she's hanging out solo right now, and I can't tell if she's sad about it or very, very relieved. I think she's just kind of checking everything out. She's been uh, she's been taking her little bath, so she can't be too worked up, yeah. but she is an absolutely beautiful seal point Siamese. I mean, and beautiful blue eyes and little white on her paws. She's just... Yeah, gorgeous cat. She looks like a happy version of Grumpy Cat. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's that's probably the best way to describe a happy her. version of Grumpy Cat. Yeah, because like she doesn't that, she actually. doesn't have that grumpy look on her face. Yep. But she is uh, she is super sweet. And you said she's six. She is she is six years old. Um, I don't think you'd guess that she was that old based no, on wouldn't. how much she was playing with her kittens when they were there. Um, I would have thought she was you know maybe one or two. But we got her aged at six, and she's in very good health. And, you know, as so often happens is the mom comes in with her kittens, and, of course, everybody falls in love with the kittens, Mm -hmm. and then they get adopted, and then mom's just sitting here going, okay, it's my turn. And, boy, she would just make a wonderful Christmas kitty for someone. She's really a great cat. I mean, you know, like you said in the beginning, Joe, you know, she came in, and she was a little bit timid, but she warmed up to us in like 45 seconds yeah. to a minute. And, and she's she's loving the studio and having fun. I came in and sat down and she came right over and head bonked me. <laughs> and yep. she was just like, yep, you're an okay person. We're all good here. Mm-hmm. I think she'd do really well in a home. Yeah, she would. Uh, so what's going on with uh, APL these days? I know I've seen lots of giving trees up and about. Yes, we have giving trees at a bunch of local businesses. Um there are trees with ornaments with animals that have been at the shelter past and present uh, with little things that we need and they need for the shelter. Um, basically on the back, just see a little. And a lot, lots of different things. Yes, there's obviously the dog toys and cat toys and dog food and cat to- food, but things like copier paper, yeah. bleach, toilet paper, laundry detergent, dish soap, a lot of things that people don't think that the shelter goes through an incredible amount of yeah. every year. And this, I mean, Giving Tree is such a big time of the year for us because it'll actually help us for our supplies for the entire year. Yes. Like what we get during this time of year, we hope to hold us for the entire year. So it's it's really important. And like you said, there's, you're, I th- think uh, when Andrew was here, he said you were in over 30 different locations. So yes. you're going to see them all over Springfield. And you've got... Uh, Paint Your Pet coming up here yeah, next we, week? We've got Paint Your Pet on the 12th at 6 p.m. at the upper level of White Oaks Mall, the Old Bergeners. Uh, it's $50 for adults, $35 for children. You send in a picture of your pet. It gets stenciled by a professional artist, and then you go and you paint it. I I unfortunately have to work that evening, so I, <laughs> I won't be going, but I do have a stenciled copy of my pups. Very nice. <laughs> Very cool. And I see we're also doing uh, photos with Santa at Petco this Saturday. I do believe that From is From 11 correct. to 4. So lots of things going on and the best way. And you guys have a new website too, which is if you've ever gone to APL's old website, it was terrible. We all (laughs) knew it was terrible. Brand new website, super easy to find out what's going on, make donations. And that's something else real quick. Uh, Giving Tuesday was yesterday. And I know you guys were trying to raise money for Mm -hmm. a new heating unit for the dog isolation room. How was that going? Uh, my understanding was last time I checked in with those above me, it was going really well. And we were hoping, I believe we've actually hit the goal that we need to be able to get something. And that was like $6,000. Those things are not cheap. So congratulations on that. But obviously if you want to donate apl-shelter.org, they've got a handy dandy little donate button right there on the front page. Very cool. And you can't do better for a forever friend than the Animal Protective League. And make sure you go there every single day, Monday through Sunday, noon to 5 at 1001 Tainer Road, and take a look at some of the animals that they have. Joe, thank you so much. We appreciate it. The Pet Project, the APL Pet Project, is for Modern Dental. Warm, individualized dental care. That's Modern Dental. It's Christmas.